I am very grateful for being invited to this function. And I thank you for inviting me and also inviting my collaborators while I was in St. Xavier's, the teachers of St. Xavier's. Many thanks. You, are, you still have the real spirit of the buildings, the spirit of thankfulness and gratefulness for what has been done for you. I was supposed to talk about the past, memories of the past. But let me tell you, I have been 60 years in St. Xavier's. How can I distinguish one year from the other? How can I tell you what the 77 group was doing behind my back? So I decided I would tell you a little bit about my own memories. Most of you don't know who I am, but I don't know do you know who I am. So I will tell you now who I am. I am a Berliner. I hope you know where Berlin is. I asked the sixth floor the other day where Berlin is, and she couldn't tell me where Berlin was. So much to be said for today's education. I, I relate to Berlin because my mother is a Berliner and my father met my mother there. And I have, I think, the spirit of Berliners who were able to resist the uh, Berlin blockade, the Berlin being smashed to bits by the Allies, the Berlin of the Berlin Wall, the Berlin who overcame all this. They were the labor of the Abinkins. I am one of these. I emigrated to Ireland because of the uh, bad conditions in Germany at the time. And uh, I, I went to a very remote place there, away, I thought, from trouble. But with time, the fangs of Nazi socialism got cut up. I found out where my father was. And my father had refused to join the, the, the war machine in Germany of the Second World War. And so he became a target for assassination by the IRA, whom you know, I presume you have heard about. He went into hiding, and uh, of all places, he was in hiding in a priest seminary. <laughs> but he eventually, to the happiness of the family, came out. I got to know the brothers in Ireland and decided to join. And I, because I was a foreigner, I was put to the fast track. So, I entered University College Dublin very early and graduated with mathematics and also studied music at the Royal Irish Academy of Music at the same time. I came out to Malaysia on a very historic day. That is the day of the Maria Hertog rights I arrived in Singapore. I don't know whether you have ever heard of the Maria Hertog rights, but look up your history books <laughs> and you will find all about it. From, from there I was suddenly shifted up to St. Joseph's Training College Penang to teach young brothers who were the same age as myself. I taught them French, English, uh, Latin and Mathematics. It was quite common for a teacher to be able to do these things at these times. Now a graduate will find difficulty in teaching the subject he learned at the university. <laughs> The turning point in my life was being invited to St. Xavier's Institution Secondary School in 1954. Whoa. And 
1954, I was invited to, to join the staff and I had the privilege of leading the school from the Atat Sheikhs into the present building. Why was I given this privilege? I don't know. But I taught for five class that year. In 1957, form six classes opened and I was a member of the staff as a mathematics teacher. I am the only surviving member of that staff of that time. Whoa. I had the privilege of teaching mathematics, what was called the new mathematics calculus. Calculus has got to do with change. Dy dx, maybe you will remember that. Dy dx is all about change. And we are in a world of change. And you yourselves have experienced change. And change is very important. And being able to adapt to change is very important. The question nowadays is, are we adapting to change in our country? Yeah. That is the, that's the big question. Well, I became principal of St. Xavier's and I tried to bring about changes. I did um, improve the science facilities, enlarge the science department, and I built a new science block. completed the, the, the building of the library and the arts lecture theatre. I expanded the school canteen. I enlarged, did the first enlargement of the staff room. I built the facilities on the school field for tennis and volleyball. Yeah. Yes, I did all, all these changes because I had to move with the times and offer the best facilities to students at that time. <laughs> but I do not want to be remembered just for that. I want to be remembered for something that is far more important and which will be an eye-opener for you. That is, what are the roots or what are the origins of St. Xavier's? What are the origins? You look when you pass St. Xavier's, you see 1852. 1852 is only the year when the brothers took over a school that existed in 1787. Oh! I interest you to know there was a French priest French priest who was given a piece of land in Church Street by Francis Light two years after the arrival of Francis Light. He was to build his church, that is the first Assumption Church, and then a school for boys and a school for girls. The school for boys was St. Francis Xavier School. That was the origin of St. Xavier. That is the origin of Church Street. And for your information, what is the origin of Bishop Street? That priest was made a bishop and he was given a house in Bishop Street by Francis Light. So, for your information, Bishop Street was called Bishop Street after a Catholic priest who had already founded it a school for boys and a school for girls in Church Street. Now, I make one more crucial point in history. The, the method of instruction in school was Malay. And the bishop was able to speak Malay and instructed in Malay. But later on, Hutchings from the East India Company 
was invited to Penang and he established a school which became later Penang Free School. Oh. started to teach through the medium of English. My the brother's school was teaching through the medium of Malay. Oh. So the brothers obviously saw the disadvantage and switched then to English. And that's why we had English education from that time down to the 60s, 70s. Why was that done? That was to accommodate to the times. You must change with the times. If English is going to help you to, to progress, then you have to change that. You cannot be circumscribed by parochial, racial, or nationalistic <coughs> ideas. butter comes from. And so, of course, the brothers changed the meeting of instruction. And hopefully, things at the present day will turn out for the better, that there will be accommodation to the circumstances of the present time. We are not Little Malaysia isolated from the rest of the world, we belong to an international community. I have no prejudices against Bahasa because in 1973 I got a credit in Bahasa. more in that language that many Malays have, that is my, my apology. It might interest you to know that in the 80s I wrote for the first series of Pentitical model in Bahasa Malaysia. respect for Bahasa Malaysia, but I also know what is important when it comes to adapting ourselves to the present circumstances in the world. So, the variant here present, please know your origins. Your origins go back to 1787, Church Street, then Bishop Street, Penangfli School is a result of Hutchin School that came much later. There is at the moment a monument going up at St. Xavier's being built by the 72 class. That will depict the origins of St. Xavier's from the beginning that is from 1787 up to the present day. Oh. That will be there in, a, in a, the very near future. Please remember now what your real origins are and be proud of what you belong to. And be grateful always for what has been done for you. Today, you are grateful to your teachers. Continue to be grateful. I have said enough. <laughs>